And a very good morning to uh, you for watching at Morning Live. And this is a, a beautiful site that we're broadcasting to from this morning. And uh, it really is wonderful. We're in the Limpopo province. We're at Mapungubwe. And uh, the sites that you're seeing on your screen are just magnificent. We're looking at Mapungubwe Hill at the moment. And uh, this is just a, a beautiful shot that we've got for you. The sun rising. And you've got that golden hue that's coming. And we caught this uh, this aeroplane that was flying over just a short while ago. And uh, this is the launch, and you heard Peter speaking about it in his uh, interview just a little bit earlier. Uh, just talking about the Heritage uh, website that is going to be uh, launched, just uh, enabling you South Africans to go out there and talk about preserving your, webs your, your heritage and also being able to participate in every way that you possibly can. But let's talk a little bit more about this. And uh, joining me now, I suppose, to talk about this, there is nobody better. Uh, I've got uh, uh, Somadora Fikeni, who is the uh, professor and the chairperson of the Sarakan. Council. It's good to have you. Welcome to Morning Live. Well, thank you. It's good to be in your program. Yeah. Isn't I, this is one of the most magnificent places. I mean, just talk us through Mapungubwe and what's so special about this area? It's probably one of the most special World Heritage Sites in Southern Africa because almost a thousand years ago, this was a thriving center of civilization of the Mapungubwe area. And this even predates the Zimbabwe, the Great Zimbabwe. And at that time, quite interestingly, this place had trade links with Asia, India, China, and so forth. And uh, that in itself is very significant for South Africans to know because the findings from this area were kept in the basement for decades of University of Pretoria because had it been known by South Africans that Africans already had their own civilizations almost 500 years in this region before Jan van Riebeek came, yeah. then that would have blown out the myth that Africans had not contributed to the African civilization. So, I mean, the, where, where we're standing now, I mean, the, the, the history and the significance of this area is amazing. And there's so many other areas in South Africa that could be like this, and hence what we're doing here today. I mean, just t talk us through more about this website and what you're trying to achieve. We are in the 21st century, and the information revolution is very important to digitize our heritage. And this website, which is being launched, one is an inventory of South African heritage resources. And we're inviting all different participants in this interactive uh, website to visit the website for their research, visit the website to add some of their community and regional heritage. Mm. And as such, we are interacting with many heritage institutions to also load information on this information portal which is South African Heritage Information Systems. It's one of the most complex, one of the most sophisticated machinery or platform for hosting heritage information. How do you define heritage? Heritage is that which any society deem to be very important to pass from generation to generation and it is not only important because of what happened in the past. It defines people and become their point of reference as they move forward. Yeah. I, I, I mean, I, I would imagine that heritage as well is, is very specific. It's something that I feel more, uh, you know, th that appeals more to me may not appeal to you. So how, at the end of the day, do you, I suppose I could submit something on the website and say this means something to me, but it may not mean it to you. How do you come to a conclusion and say, well, this should be declared one? There are general processes for identifying, for declaring heritage in the country. And as such, that criteria, Sarah has the criteria to do that. It can be from different cultural backgrounds. It could be white, it could be Asian, it could be Africana. But for as long as it is unique and it is of provincial, it is of national significance. Mm. And a site like Mapungube actually is of international significance, hence the World Heritage Committee of UNESCO declared it as such. Yeah, yeah. Do, do you think that South Africans value their heritage? I do think that they do value their heritage, but the problem is that 
if you are in this region, you'll tend to know more about Mapunguba, but not much about heritage in other regions like the Great St. Lucia, the Wetlands, the Isimangaliso area. You will tend to know more about the history of the kings, the queens of the area. Mm. Because in the past, our history was partitioned such that if you are Movenda, you know only Movenda history. Yeah. If you are Tonga, you know mm. the history of those people. If you are Tosa, if you are Zulu. What we're trying to do now is to draw the attention of the country to the rich and diverse heritage of our society which may exist in different areas and we're encouraging and engaging basic education to also include some of these programs in their own life orientation and in their own syllabi. Well, good luck with it. I think it's an incredible initiative. Uh, Professor Somadora Fikeni, who is uh, the chairperson of the SARA Council, talking to us here on Morning Life. Uh, today we're seeing the launch of www.sara.org.za. It's a website for you, uh, sophisticated as you heard, probably one of the most sophisticated websites in the world where you're able to visit it, you're able to uh, try and explain why you think something should be considered uh, a cultural heritage site and, uh, and that will be taken into consideration and this is where you you're able to get involved. So we'll talk more about it as the broadcast gets underway as we uh, come to you from this magnificent area of South Africa. This is a World Heritage Site. It's one of eight in South Africa. We're coming to you from Mapungubwe. Stay tuned to Morning Life.